Aloha everyone, I'm Mohsen Pahriawi, PhD student at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. The title of our presentation is Machine Vision Tools for Delimiting Distribution of Coconut Rhinopedal on the Island of Oahu. This is for Hawaii Conservation Conference. Introduction DRB was discovered on Oahu late 2013. It pours into palms, banana, and sugar cane. These bores make the palm more susceptible to diseases and it can even uh, kill the palm tree. Replacement of palm is expensive, about $3,000. So we need the tools for delineating and controlling the infestation. Our first objective is to have uh, automatic delineation of CRV infestation with a smart camera boards that detect and report CRV wirelessly. CRV response team has installed more than 3,000 uh, CRV traps, and here is the distribution of uh, panel traps around Oahu. Trap inspection rate is uh, once a week to every four weeks. Um, traps use a lure to attract the CRV, then it falls inside a cup. Checking the trap is expensive and laborious task, so we want to have automatic uh, trap surveillance to help with uh, finding new CRV breed locations more rapidly and also getting feedback on uh, spraying treatment and sanitation efficiency. Our se second objective is uh, to identify damaged uh, palm trees uh, with drone imagery automatically. And our third objective is having aerial pesticide applications. And here is the video that we are using drones to practice pesticide treatment on palms. All these boards have uh, wireless uh, remote communications. Uh, ESP32 cam and OpenMV are both uh, low power microcontrollers. They are uh, image classification capable, and if they detect CRV in an uh, image, they can use Wi-Fi to relay those images. Raspberry Pi Zero is a single computer. It uh, fully supports uh, image classification. And if we want to have rapid test of classification models before implementing it uh, on the boards, uh, we use that. Also, we have the power management components uh, that cost around $30 and a cellular modem uh, cost that is about uh, $40. It is important to have uh, power management uh, on microcontrollers since traps are spread around the island. So we have uh, designed a system to charge a LiPo battery with a photovoltaic panel uh, for energy uh, sustainability of the board. Uh, also, we have plans to integrate cellular modem to microcontroller boards because in remote locations there is no Wi-Fi available. We have designed an integrated system with ESP32 CAM with bright LED, power regulator, a PV charging, the LiPo battery, external omnidirectional antenna, and uh, embedded microphone. This integrated board is very economical and power efficient. Our next move is to add the LTE cellular modem to it uh, to make it uh, one package. Currently, ESP CAM boards uh, use Wi-Fi communication to send their captured images to our website. The algorithm of ESP CAM is that it regularly wakes up, takes picture, sends a picture to our website, and goes to deep sleep at night in order to reduce the use of safe solar energy on the battery. Wi-Fi data is free, but it is geographically restricted to availability of a router access point. Recently, we were able to use an off-the-shelf cellular modem to send images with cellular network with Raspberry Pi. Cellular LTE network is less restrictive geographically, but uh, we need to pay for cellular data. Hence, uh, some sort of CRV image classification is needed to sort the captured uh, images before it's relaying. We are using transfer learning method on MobileNet V2 pre-trained network to classify pictures as either CRV or non-CRV. The non-CRV images include the probable non-CRV objects that fall inside a trap, like uh, leaves, gecko, butterfly, also the pictures of empty cup. Also, we took a CRV photos in UH quarantine room as CRV class. To generalize better, we added some free license uh, flicker images to the mentioned CRV and non-CRV classes. Using transfer learning, our uh, trained uh, convolutional neural network model reached 100% uh, training and 98% validation accuracy. 
After the training, the confusion matrix on the test dataset shows that out of 334 test photos, only one was misclassified. After training the model on computer, we need to convert it to a quantized model in order to be able to run it on a microcontroller. This will shrink uh, the model size and make it suitable for the limited memory on camera boards. Uh, it will reduce the accuracy by just a few percent. And here is a video of classification with a quantized model on OpenMV board. We have developed tools for delineating and controlling infestation of CRV on Oahu.